today lou we have george sarah how are you george? george how you doing good very good so it's uh it's a pleasure to have you here on the noisy cavern as you can tell it's uh it's a home <laughs> it's, a <laughs> it's a literal living room your home is our home but a like, home is where you are loved exactly so anywhere there's there's all kinds of love here yeah, especially music. with music right yeah, music is love remember? music is love exactly yes. so you have a performance for us i do and yes. um what are you gonna play for us first well, it's a track called Ours, and it's off uh, a record I released in 2012. And um, I um, normally have this perform with a string quartet, but uh, since this performance is a little special, it's going to be the electronic version of the string quartet piece accompanied by electronic rhythms. Nice. If that makes sense. It makes sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me, though. It's okay. All right. I forg- we forgive you. We All forgive right. you. Yeah. <laughs> Once on, yeah, I'll just figure something out one day. Okay. <laughs> All right. So go ahead and take it away. Thank you. 
Strings loud enough? Did it sound balanced? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can hear them. Yeah, I can hear the strings. Okay, so it sounded like a good balance. Yeah. What did you think? I thought it could be a hair louder, but it I could be wrong. <laughs> it was good. Yeah. Yeah, I heard okay. I heard it, uh, when you were playing. Okay. Since you, I know you're you're arranging your for the next song, right? Uh, I'm. Uh, hold on. Let me. Uh... Yeah. If you wanna like before you start, you can talk a little bit about the song and then you can move on to that. Okay, so this one, it's called Mojave Sundown, and uh, it was something I did for a horror film. Um, but it's released on a record of mine called Time Lapse, and it's on, you know, stuff. And um, all the rhythms <coughs> on this, um, I recorded, it was a, it's a Ferris wheel, and um, I recorded that and then chopped it up, and I recorded it with a mic, and I went straight to Dat, and... Um, in the recording, um, it was very windy, so you hear the wind. So the wind also becomes part of the rhythm, and it sounds like like banging and stuff. So, sick. Uh, well, that was the point: is to make people sick, because <laughs> the <laughs> horror movie. <laughs> so if they throw up, I did my job.
I know there's a lot of, you know. That would be scary if I was uh, <laughs> watching a horror film. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> um, so you mentioned that was a sound, part of a soundtrack to a film. Um, the movie, yeah. Well, um, what happened was uh, when I was scoring the movie, I asked the producers uh, that I'd like to kind of rework the songs and put it out as a record. And they agreed to that. Um, sorry, I'm queuing up the... Uh, so um, so I, I reworked each piece, and that's one of them. But yeah, it's, it, it, in the film, it's only like a minute and 30 seconds. Mm. But I mean, it's not a very long piece, but yeah, it's something that... And I perform it live, and that's also accompanied by strings, by strings. as well. But uh, yeah. So. It would be scary, I'm telling you. Really? Yeah, it's, it's a good idea, man. Just record a Ferris wheel. Yeah, uh, yeah, and then you know I manipulated it, so I slowed it down and uh, chopped it up. And you can tell, like the like the bar, like meh, like they're uh, yeah. screeching. Or, yeah, like sometimes natural sound can be really you know like you can do so much with it and um, and use it in a way that's like you know uh, whether it be intense or melodic or beautiful or scary, whatever you know. Why'd you come up with the, with the idea of the first? It was just. Um, there's a there's a scene in the film where you see all these dead people on a Ferris wheel. So I just thought it'd be interesting. Also, I, that that kind of found sound idea really came from um, Brian Eno and David Byrne and Bill Nelson. Um, they made a rec- Brian Eno and David Byrne made a record in the late '70s called "My Life in the Bush of Ghost," and they recorded a lot of on a, just a four track. Um, you know, um, found sounds is what they called it. Just nature and birds and you know, um, and, and and incorporate that into music. And I thought it was just, they did it so well that um, it really inspired me. Um, and when I was a kid, you know, all, all we had were, you know, tape recorders and stuff. So we were t- doing tape loops and stuff. And now when samplers came out, now with like computers, you can do that and just really just go all out, you know, do whatever that's, you want. That's crazy. And your next song is called... Who's sleep the sleep of peace? There you go. I had to go back some pages. I'm like, oh yeah, man, yeah. too many notes. No, I, I know I shouldn't have given you that book, but uh, <laughs> you know, I like to come prepared. <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, yeah. All right, go t- take it away. All right, all right. I'll take it away.
Thank you very much, George. That was nice. Thank you. Yeah, that's another sad one, too. It wasn't sad? What, it's not? No, I don't think so. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't I didn't find anything sad about it. Okay. That piece is uh a truncated version of um I do a live performance to a silent movie called The Passion of Joan of Arc. And and um so that is a twelve minute piece that's performed to the film as the last piece with four voice choir and string quartet. But um I wanted to create a shorter version. And, and done electronically, so that's it. So that's only three minutes out of the 12 minutes. We're waiting for the 12 minute one, man. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, no. I, uh, uh, we could do it like four times. Uh, four times? Yeah, that would make it 12 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. All right, man. Thank you. 
That was sick, bro. I like that one. Thank you. This was a Man Time Beat production.